in this practical video we will discuss the types of diluting fluids and how to dilute the samples using these fluids so in hematology laboratory we have um, in hematology uh, lab we use four different kinds of diluting fluids one is WBC that diluting fluid RBC diluting fluid platelet diluting fluid and the EU snowfield diluting fluid so first coming to the WBC <coughs> fluid we, we use it for WBC count we call it as Turk fluid so the composition of Turk fluid is glacial acidic acid gentian violet and distilled water so how do we perform this diluting uh, dilution so first we we draw EDTA anticoagulated blood to 0 0.5 mark in the capillary end of WBC pipette to 0 0.5 mark and carefully we wipe excess blood outside the pipette by using a cordon so that it will not interfere with the diluting fluid that we have that we will be pipetting up and third we draw the diluting fluid up to the 11th mark so after the contents in the pipette uh, are mixed after five minutes we discard a few few drops and then fill the contents chamber and allow the cells to settle for two to three minutes and then uh, for wbc we focus on the w marked areas by um, under lower power of 10x and then cells counted in all four w marked corners of the squares now coming to rpc diluting fluid we call it as Haynes fluid or rpc diluting fluid so the composition of this fluid is mercury chloride sodium sulfate sodium chloride and distilled water so the procedure for this is Similarly to WBC diluting fluid, we draw EDDA and decoagulated blood exactly to 0 0.5 mark of the RBC pipette. So you have to know the difference between RBC pipette and WBC pipette. So in a WBC pipette, as you can see, the the the, the bead that you will find here is of bluish or whitish color. And for RBC, the 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 pipette. Uh, the bead inside is red in color so that is how you will distinguish so after taking 0 0.5 mark of anticoagulated blood we wipe out the tip of the pipette and then uh, first uh, throw, throw up throw the <coughs> uh, wipe the tip of the pipette clean with a piece of dry gauge without touching the opening of the capillary because if we touch the opening some few drops will be sucked up by the uh, dry gauge and then after that we immerse in the freshly filtered diluting fluid so after this we do not we should not insert the pipette in the bottle for counting solution so what we do is we take out uh, we take out the solution in a test tube or maybe in a container for pipetting out and not directly from the bottle so by gen gentle mouth suction draw the diluting fluid steadily into the pipette to exactly 101 mark past the tube rotating the pipette on its axis alone to ensure thorough mixing of the blood and the diluent so over here we mix it thoroughly then immediately mix the contents of the pipette thoroughly by placing the thumb over one end and then shake for one minute after that um, diluted blood must be examined within two hours now coming to platelet diluting fluid the composition is one person and name of the lid. so the procedure is that it is freshly filtered and slightly diluting fluid and then uh, whole blood that, uh, that is used so we take a uh, free freshly filtered blindly diluting fluid 2 ml and then whole blood 0.2 ml 
So we will have to mix it properly and then wait for 2 minutes to complete the fixation and hemolysis. So we have to mix well and then charge one drop in a counting chamber. And then keep the chamber for 10 minutes to settle the cells under a petri dish moisted with weight cotton coach to prevent drying. And then we count the cells. Now coming to the uh, absolute use no fluid count, we call it as dangerous fluid. So the composition of this fluid is eosin yellow, 95% acetone, 40% formalin and distilled water. So the procedure is we have to take 950 microliter of the living fluid in a clean dry taste tube. After that we will add 50 microliter of anticoagulated blood sample and then give a chromix. After that we will keep for 5 minutes at room temperature. After that we mix and then we will fill the chamber with the help of pipette. So keeping the uh, chamber charge the moist petri uh, dish for 5 to 10 minutes for allowing it to settle down. Now we, uh, we will take the chamber to a microscope and then we have to count the ear sniffle under low power that is Danex in reduced light. And then count in for corner squares of the improved counting chamber. So that's how you perform. So I hope you have understood. Thank you.